I got married recently. Yeah. yeah. It's important during a marriage to make an effort, isn't it? And I snore. Or do I? <laughs> it's just an excuse for me wife to hit me. That's all it is. But I've, ha I've had made an effort. I got all this equipment from the Anti-Snoring Association. I bought it all. And I wear it all at the same time. <laughs> it's like a homemade Hannibal Lecter kit. I wear a strip across my nose to open up the nasal passageways. I wear a blue rubber mouth guard to stop the air going down my throat. And to stop my jaw from falling open, I wear a strap, a strap across me head, like I'm in a Victorian mental hospital. And when it's all on, I can't talk. I can't talk, which is fine, except we have small children. And sometimes they wake up in the middle of the night, and it'll be my turn to go in and comfort them. <laughs> I roll out of the bed, plowing across the landing with me big hobbit feet, into the child. What's wrong with you? What do you mean you can't see? There's nothing to be afraid of. Your father is here now. So I tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a man and he wasn't getting any rest, and he went insane. That's all for me, folks. Thank you. I got married recently. Yeah. yeah. It's important during a marriage to make an effort, isn't it? And I snore. Or do I? <laughs> it's just an excuse for me wife to hit me. That's all it is. But I've, ha I've had made an effort. I got all this equipment from the Anti-Snoring Association. I bought it all. And I wear it all at the same time. <laughs> it's like a homemade Hannibal Lecter kit. I wear a strip across my nose to open up the nasal 